What's up guys? This is my uh, Dylan RL550. Um, I'm gonna be reloading some 223 on it. I have about a few hundred loads to do today. Um, a few three primer tubes, a bunch of cases that are prepped, a bunch of 55 gram projectiles I'll be using. Um, I'm gonna reload and I'm gonna just keep keep going with the flow of reloading and I'm not really going to stop a whole lot. I'm going to explain a little bit as I go along and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'll be switching the camera option, uh, camera angles every couple of minutes and uh, we'll go from there. All right, cool. So this is me putting in the primers. I use the rod when I set the primers in. Um, I use a 45 ACP um, case on top. Gives it good enough weight to stick it on top. Kind of like so. Each tube pulls about 100. Boom. Let's get going here. This is my powder, my low primer sensor, and that's my low powder sensor. Um, and uh, yep, when it gets close, I'll show another angle of it how it works when I get close to being finished. All right. So this is my first case, first station. The first station. Take the case. Put it up in the sizer. As I'm doing that, it's going to send the prime, the extra primer, down into the primer catcher. I set a primer in, which the 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 pick the primer pickup arm picks it up. I'm going to do that. Switch it to the other side. Second station. Here's my second station right now. What I do is lift it up. Picks up my charge. Switch to the third station. Take a projectile. Lift it up. Seat the bullet. Now my fourth station. Just a, I just do a light crimp on it. This is crimp die right here. And then. Voila. Completed cartridge right here. Now I'm just going to pick up the paste. Now every single time I pull the handle, the plate of cartridge comes out. The powder I'm using is Ramshot. It's a good affordable powder, especially when you're using just clinkers. Um, this powder charge is giving me an 0.3 difference between 24.7 up to 25 grains per charge.
Yeah, that was a tight military crimp. So that's why it was a little tough to put in. You'll feel it as you get used to it. You'll feel when you've got a good crimp, a tight military crimp, when you have a... Uh... So that was nice and easy. Once you get the rhythm going, the 550 is a manual index, that's why you see me turning it, unlike the 650, which is an auto index. That one was a little bit tight right there, but you're fine. The good thing with the manual index is that you can go back and forth with the shell plate. They say you can do about five to six hundred in an hour. The most I've ever done was probably close to four, maybe four fifty. Because you gotta change out the primers. You're human. That's with everything, no problems. It's important to clean the bottom shell plate clean with any debris. So before each session, I do take it apart and I use the air gun, air cam to uh, clean out any kind of debris, extra powder. This powder does get over your press as you're working it. One thing I don't like about it 
which is a stupid complaint. I wish they could have done these a little bit bigger, or a little bit better design for the operating rod. But other than that, can't complain. I got this press used and I had it really put together and I had to fix a couple things. But it was took me about a couple days to really figure out all the kinks and problems with it. Once you get these things tuned, they look like a dream as you can tell. Going out to the range tomorrow and you can see and you can see how fast I can load up a 55 grain projectile for planking. So you're probably wondering, why Dylan? Why not RCBS? Why not Hornady? I'm sure they all make good presses. I'm sure they all do good warranty parts. Um, I wanted something that was well known in the industry. I want something that would give me less problems. And I wanted something that if anything would happen, the company would have it back. I've had to use a warranty service for parts. The guys over the phone are very easy going. Um, I might try an RCBS or a Hornady with some other calibers, but for something that you need to work hard for you, how can you, uh, how can you say no? I'll do some live videos on this. Just want to make sure everything is working perfectly and tuned up. Because you know, if I mess up on a video, I'm gonna mess up while going live. If you're, if you're thinking, Johnny, you should get your light over here for the shelf plate. I do have one, but during the video, from six minutes in, the power to my building went out. So that's why it's a little bit dark and I'm sorry for the lighting. It's not going to stop me from doing a video for you guys, but just, that's why. But I do have a light over here. Hopefully the camera light and this little other light. Alright guys, okay. 
nice powers back onto my building. So thanks for hanging in there with me in the lighting situation. So yeah, the reason why I went with the Dillon is because I wanted the ultimate best in the game so that I wouldn't have any problems and, and didn't want any, as we say, BS or anything like that, as they say, no BS form too. Um, I strictly use this machine for 223 for bulk, uh, as you can tell. Um, everything I do use it for, or I'm going to be using it for, is 300 blackout. I do convert the 223 cases down to 300 blackout. Same bolt face, so the only thing I have to do is change out the, the tool head, pop these two pins out, change them out, and then I'm good to go. So. In a minute, I'll, I'll show you how the powder blow primer system works, alarm works, sensor. About kind of way. Tight military pocket, quick pocket right there. Let me show you the, the low primer system right there. All right, guys. So here's what the my low sensor right here. Um, have this 45 case. To give it some weight on it. So as I pull each one up, you can see how it goes down a little bit. Now it's going to go off when there's about five, three to five primers still left in the tube. So I can still use it after it goes off. Just have to watch my priming arm to make sure it catches. Probably another word for that priming arm, but. Here we go.
So now I got like three or four left in there. My power is still good. You can see usually when it gets to about here, it will go off. This thing rod will come down and hit that. But other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Okay, guys, now you've seen how the whole process kind of works with a light uh, tutorial, not a whole in-depth. If you want a whole in-depth, you can uh, see a ton of good videos on YouTube. So for the next 100 rounds, I'm just going to go through the paces at this angle and maybe a couple others and just fly through. So sit back and enjoy. Make some room, guys. I kind of don't like these primers. I'm just trying to finish them off. Um, I've been switching to CCI in my square deal, and I've been on level down. They're not as hard as these European primers. Yes, these are seller and bellet. To use these, you really got to clean up the military crimps. So the first 20 minutes, I didn't really speed up or do any kind of, I was kind of slow just explaining things to you. Um, and I've already done maybe 50 just now, just by using it, you can just see how fast the pace picks up.
people ask me all the time, you know, you work out? I'm like, yeah, I work out. What's your favorite? Like a treadmill? The elliptical? I usually do the 550 RL or the square deal. Look, like, what's that? I like it's a good arm machine. <laughs> I'm just sweating right now, I'm just moving. I gotta get the bigger bin. I would like to do a, a video with my wife on this thing. I feel like she would love it. All those hours of prep work, trimming, shaping, deburring, cleaning out the primer pockets, pays off. Humbling, once you start doing this, guaranteed. Every dollar you spend this machine, this blue machine pays off. Running out of room, but that's okay. More ammo is, is a good thing, right? Better than no ammo, or less ammo. All right, guys. So here's a close look at what the low power sensor is going to do when it when it goes off. Almost there. It's right on it. So what it's telling me right now is that it's a thousand grains. Um, so theoretically, I can keep going with this, but I can either keep going with it. We don't really need this, or I can do something that most people would we'll be like, yeah, is give it some more power, baby. So now we're good. America.
have about maybe 20 left in this tube. See, that was a mistake. I almost caught myself there. So now I'll just take out the tablet, put it back on this station right here. So that's what happens when you just go on for a good duration of time. So that's why I kind of like the, the manual index. Even though there's really nothing wrong. Just double checking because I'm not one space. Yep. You're all good. Put a bullet in here. Come out here. I think I could fit a little bit more in there. So I assume after this video, everybody that watched it is going to be buying an RL550. Probably no one's going to be hearing and saying this because no one's going to be able to survive a 40 minute video or something like that, however time we're on right now. So, if you're wondering why I do this, because I don't know if you notice, there's a blue bin next to this press right here. Oh wait, there it is. Just overflowing. I look at that thing, and I say to myself, yeah, that's me. It is me going to Dick's Ford and Goods, Bass Pro Shop, that's me. That's my hard work right there. That's my bullet I'm running. I'm throwing in that magazine. Nobody else. That's me hitting the gong. And that's me missing the shot. No one else can be blamed except me. And no one else can be thanked except me. So, I got a few more left. Powder, low primer sensor left to go off in a second. I usually use this bin right here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like the video.
at all your friends. So in this track, I can see I probably have about two more primers left. Just checking the timer. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And that's it. Yep. Right there. 200 cases. All me. Nobody else. Gotta love it, right? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be sure to post some more videos in the future.